Well, hey folks, uh, so today I'm gonna get back into the beehive since it's um, it's almost like summer again. It's like um, nice and sunny and warm and um, a great opportunity to get into the hive. So the priority right now is to feed them. So we, you know, uh, the end of summer comes real quick and fall can mean really, really cold temperatures. So that means the bees need to be fed adequately before winter time. And sometimes what happens is that you can't get into the hive for several weeks. So what I like to do is introduce a top hive feeder and I actually got some new ones this year. I probably should have got new ones years ago, but um, I'll show you what those look like and um, hoping to, and what I hope to get out of them. So this is what we're looking at for a top hive feeder. How it works, for, okay, so the, the main difference between what I've been using, which you've seen on the videos, I've got a lot of jar front entrance feeders, which uh, are very puny actually and they don't hold a lot of syrup for the bees so if you really want to feed them heavy it's like you're constantly refilling them um, the only good thing about them is that you can see the level and you can monitor it easily but what I like about hive top feeders is that you can lift off the top of the hive and peek at it really quick and you don't really disturb the hive to check on the status of it so that's good and it holds I think these each hold like a gallon to two gallons of syrup, so it's fantastic. Um, and the biggest difference is that these are made out of plastic. I've been using a wooden one, which over the years has developed cracks and I've had to put silicone caulking in it and repair, and I've had a lot of bees die in it because of the cracks. So I'm hoping the switch to plastic is gonna be a big improvement. So um, the difference here is that the reservoirs are here and here and the center is raised and the bees can come through holes in the top, climb down and climb back up the screen to escape the, um, the big pools of syrup there. So it's all contained and it's gonna be, I'm gonna drop it right into an empty super and close it back up and that's what we'll do. So this has the old hive top feeder. This is the wooden box, I mean, in old fashioned days, it, it was what worked pretty well, but you know, there's improvements and um, I'm gonna take advantage of that. See, I'm seeing a lot of um, yellow jackets. Yellow jackets are desperate this time of year because they don't really stockpile food, you know what I mean? Like the way honeybees do. And this is how simple it is. So the feeder drops right into an empty super box and you put it on top. And then you pour your syrup in. This is about a half a gallon. I don't know if it really matters which side you fill, but you have the option to fill both reservoirs. So that really wasn't very much. These can, can, these can hold quite a bit. And I think this is actually gonna give me an advantage for next year. And actually for this winter, it's gonna give the bees an advantage to give them adequate food supply. Okay, and add my syrup. But this hive's all set. So, cover back on. See how they do. Okay, so I'm gonna check on them in a couple days and see how much feed they're going through. If they're going through it all, that means I need to get on it and um, get a lot more syrup in these hives in the next few weeks. So they are all set for the winter.
That's a lot of sugar. And gotta add water now. All right, when it's double concentrated, it has to heat up to dissolve the sugar granules. Well, the wind has picked up and it's really cool. It cooled off a lot today. So <laughs> the bees aren't flying around as crazy, but they're still flying around. So there's a lot of them at the entrance here. Um, and a lot of them at that last hive. Get a closer look. You can see there's like a little bit of an entrance in this hive and the bees are all over it. They're trying to get in there, get all that food. But this is the hive they've been having the yellow jacket problems in. And I think they've moved over to this hive because of the way the inner cover is. But it's like they are attacking my bees, or at least their food. I don't know if they're actually attacking the bees, but see if you can see when I take this cover off. And I just fed them this morning. Put in almost a gallon of feed this morning. Oh, it's nasty. Those aren't bees, those are yellow jackets. They are desperate for food right now. Ugh. And I open it up and there's just, they're flying out. So I filled this feeder this morning and it's already empty. So they are powering through the feed. So I need to put more in there, but I think the yellow jackets are climbing in right here, this cover hole. Uh, I don't really have a way to fix that except I could block it up with some putty. But it, this cover was on the middle hive and I feel like the middle hive has just been suffering. They haven't really been getting a lot of feed. So the yellow jackets have been after it. So, but yeah, that's, that's all yellow jackets. That's all yellow jackets all over that hive. Um, so I'm gonna just uh, fill it up and maybe I'll be able to stick a rock in there. Get those yellow jackets out. Well, I'm drowning some. What I need is some wax. That's what I could do. Plug up that hole. I look at this hole, they're not gonna be able to crawl in that hive anymore. So what I did there is kind of blocked it up. So now I'm gonna put the um, I'm gonna put the cover back on. Okay. okay. This this one had that inner cover, but I took it off. Whoops. So not as many, there's a few yellow jackets in there, but I think they were from before. Oh, there's a bunch of dead ones in there. So the feed is still in here. There's a bunch of dead yellow jackets. There's a bee, I'll try to save it. But the bees just keep trying to get in here. I mean, I'm open, I've got this open for five seconds and the bees are like trying to land in here and stuff. It's terrible. So everybody's desperate. That one seems to be working. Okay. Okay, last one to check is this one. Oh yeah, bunch of bees in here. So, there's still some feed, but there's a lot of activity because all these other bees are trying to get in here. So I'm just gonna that feeder a little bit more. Uh, 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 
tasting. Okay. Okay, the end. Definitely pushing my luck without a suit on. That was a little busy business, but uh, it wasn't the yellow jackets that got me. Actually, it was a honeybee that got me, and it got caught in my shirt, and, you know, gosh, the tiniest little sting right there probably go away, but someone else did tag me on the cheek, I think. I don't know what it was. Could have been a honeybee, could have been a yellow jacket, but um, this is the worst time of year for bees wanting to sting, and I think, you know, most of the time if I don't go into the uh, hive, then I'm fine. And so I kind of rush, I do fill the feeders and I'm out of there, but with the amount that were flying around in the winds today, they were definitely a little bit more testy. So if you guys have any, if you guys have any um, suggestions on yellow jacket traps, definitely looking for stuff that's not going to attract bees. I don't want my bees dying off in a trap, just the yellow jackets. So I think I've seen before where you can use meat, raw meat, but the fact that they already know where to go is what I'm worried about. So they're so tempted by that feeder that I'm thinking, gosh, is there any other options? You know, am I going to be able to draw them away from the hives? So that's kind of where I'm at with that. But uh, anyway, I'm excited about the feeders. It holds a lot of feed and it's saving me. The bees are going through it like so fast. And it's definitely saving me from filling up those little tiny jars over and over and over again during a high feed time of year. So it's a really important time of year to um, get those hives filled up with honey. And as you can see here, the bees don't want to give up yet. They're still after some of the flowers, the zucchini flowers here. So they're searching hard for any food that they can find. And it's really hard now since that we had that freeze. But thanks guys for joining and we'll see you at the next video. I'll keep you posted on the status of the bees. Take care.